and welcome to On TV. This is Meet Red Light District. I am Brendan Welper, along here with the band, the local group who just played for us, Red Light District. Guys, how are you doing tonight? Hey, we're great. Uh, thanks for having yeah, us here. Pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. And Jim, if I could start with you, just give us a little bit of a, of a background on uh, you guys as a whole and your band together. Well, uh, we started, like, we were all friends before we started playing music together, and uh, we started hanging out, and one of the days we were hanging out, we decided, like, you know, we all have similar music interests. Uh, we came from similar music backgrounds, and so we decided to, like, kind of join together and see how it went, and at first it was rough, you know, but we started growing our styles together and really became one as a unit. Nick, I heard you've just recently learned to play bass. Hey, um, yeah. As recent as a couple months. Exactly how long did it take you to learn that instrument? Um... I picked up bass two months ago, about, and I just love it. I mean, play it every day. It sounded great. And, and Mitch, obviously the drummer, usually most personality on the band, and I know you offer uh, very big um, help to this group. What, what do you most enjoy working with these two guys? Uh, what I really enjoy is like just putting our styles together, because when we first started playing, we were separate, but it's, I feel as when we play, like Jimmy said, we're like one unit instead of three separate musicians, mm -hmm. and I really enjoy that. And you know, guys, I know you're big music fans. Any inspirations? I'll ask each of you. Uh, what would be you know, your inspiration to do this band? Your favorite mu musicians of all time? I know you're a big Bob Marley fan to start um, off, but yeah, we like Bob Marley. You know, we kind of keep that feel good vibe. But uh, I'm really influenced by the Black Keys, um, mm -hmm. bands like that. Um, I like Sublime too. Well, my biggest influence are probably like Sublime and Bob Marley. I like more of the reggae feel. Okay, and I'm more of an in betweener. I like, like, he likes the Black Keys. They're one of my inspirations. I love Bob Marley and Sublime like him, but I really like the Strokes also. Okay. And you guys uh, performed three songs for us today. We got the first one coming up very soon. Just go through with the first song. Maybe not so much what's it about, but how difficult it is to play. Do you like it as your favorite song? Uh, the first song we played is Bad Fish by Sublime, and uh, it was one of the first songs that we really learned all together as a group. And uh, I think. Through playing this song, each of them really grew as a musician, and it taught them a lot of skills that they carry on into our originals, too. All right. So we'll, we'll check that out in a few minutes. Still got some time left here. And I, I, I got to say, what to you guys has been, you've been obviously been to many venues in the past couple months. What has been your favorite place to play and, and why? Because you, you've been all throughout the state of Michigan. You opened for Saving Abel, I believe, uh, once, and a lot mm -hmm. of other very prominent bands. So what would be your favorite place to play so far? Uh, we really employ, like really really enjoyed playing at the Tin Fish. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a little concert venue in Partridge Creek, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really cool. They got a really nice stage set up there, and they're really kind to us in there. And uh, the crowd was really cool and cooperative too, mm -hmm. so it was cool. All right, and anywhere else you guys um, you're looking to go, or you guys got a new gig coming up somewhere? I know you mentioned late August. I live in Port Sanilac. You guys are having something up there on a weekend, I believe. Oh, yeah, Labor Day weekend. Uh, we're going up there with the Boa Constrictors, who are a blues band, and uh, we're going to play in the park there and hopefully draw a pretty substantial crowd, you know. It's, uh, it's a cool way to end the music season in Port St. Lake, So Again, we're joined here with Red Light District, a local band that performed three songs for us. We're going to see that first song that you mentioned earlier in about a few minutes coming up. we got maybe a minute or two left of that. So I'm going to ask you guys <laughs> one more time. Um, Go through your practice routine, really, and I, I, I've been in your basement, which is mainly where you guys practice, and you know you guys have done it for hours and hours and on. What, what really is your schedule, if you have one, um, to really to practice? I guess. Well, I mean, really, like we're all friends, anyways. Like we spend a lot of time with each other, and like I think we would consider each other family, really. Like we yeah. are, we're 100%. we're pretty close, mm -hmm. but uh, so we're with each other a lot, and like I think all the time we really have music around us when we're mm -hmm. together. So. In a way, I don't think we really ever stop practicing mm -hmm. and getting right. better as a group. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm noticing you guys kind of have a trend with the, the jeans going on here. Anything you yeah. guys, and I, I'm <laughs> liking the, the earrings too. I know that oh, one yeah. on the top is a little bit new, but yeah. any, any trend you guys are trying to set? I mean, you guys got obviously just nice plain shirts, and then you guys are just more rock and roll, not punk, but um, in your past, is there any sort of uh, like, like rock genre that you follow that you want to maybe not imitate but be like? I mean, I think we're just trying to keep this feel-good vibe, you know, like we're really passionate about what we do, and if we can spread that, I mean, maybe we won't label ourselves so much as a genre, but as like a mission to really like share what we care about with like a substantial group of people. All right, well, we got one minute left. I'm just going to go through the three of you real quick. One unique thing you think you bring to this group, 
And I'll start with you, Jimmy. Uh, I feel like I'm really into blues guitar. Like uh, a lot of the stuff I play by myself is really blues oriented. You know, I go back to some like old school blues stuff, like Robert Johnson. And uh, I'm really into slide guitar right now. And I like to experiment with that and I try and bring that to the table. Okay. Um, I think I bring more like the reggae vibe, like Bob Marley kind of stuff. You know, just kind of mm -hmm. chill stuff. Yeah. And then like myself, I say my first real musical influence would be like Green Day. So I say I'm more of a like a punk drummer, mm -hmm. but all of our styles blend like very well together and make like a very unique sound. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, you guys sounded awesome tonight coming together again. And you mentioned, Nick, you, you really just started this position about two months ago. And, yeah. and to have that kind of come in full effect tonight was, was very interesting to see. I believe right now we're going to check out your first song that you guys played for us tonight. And we'll be right back here. This is Meet Red Light District. Welcome back to Meet Red Light District. Guys, I really enjoyed that first song that you played for us. And now back to the forum. Nick, I'm going to ask you a question. Could you sort of, I mean, you've been playing that instrument for about two months, that's bass, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's pretty much all I understand about music. Yeah. Well, can you kind of go into uh, uh, really how, how that feels to play, the difficulty on it, certain strings? I mean, again, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. So just go yeah, into well, your instrument. Like, my favorite part about playing bass is it's kind of like the rock of the band. Like, without the bass, 
like it doesn't it sounds empty almost you know and I mean it's hard to play like once you go into riffs and stuff like I don't know if you know what that is but it's like it, like bass solos basically like those are hard but keeping the like basic beat like I've been playing it long enough to where I just like kind of feel it out and do it like without even thinking about it so and then Mitch obviously you're, you're the drummer and a lot of people you know they'll play guitar hero they'll see a drum set they'll want to go on it but really what makes it special that you have to practice and you have to be very coordinated you have to play an instrument like that and, and play it well let alone like you guys did tonight well uh like you mentioned guitar hero and rock band like a lot of people think they can play drums on that but it's like a totally different feel and to me it's not a physical feel it's when i play drums it's like an almost spiritual maybe not spiritual but mental feel like i really feel the music that i'm playing and it's just like i like getting the f gratitude and like the feeling of playing the music i love mm -hmm. and jimmy your guitar again that's i know your lead guitar i just don't mm -hmm. know exactly the specifics on it so I mean, like, guitar is, like, super, super how you make it. Like, I mean, there's an infinite number of possibilities, and I think that's what I really get out of it, is that uh, I really feel that guitar is the one thing in my life I have a lot of control over, and the thing I really love the most is that it's, it's so open to, like, interpretation, to, like, how you want to play it, like, the sounds you want to make, and I really feel that when I'm with these two, like, sometimes it's hard to put into words the things you want to say, but when I'm with them playing music and like playing guitar, I can really get all that out. It's cool. Now, I'm, I'm going to start with Mitch on this next question. I know you guys are very passionate about what you do. What are your goals, at least short, short term, excuse me, or long term for this band? Obviously, you guys have a lot of good raw talent, and we, and we saw that here tonight. Uh, and I'll go through the, through the line with all you guys. What are, what are your goals, I guess, um, short term uh, for this group? Uh, short term goals are definitely just get our name out there alert people about who we are, what we aim to do, and what we aim to do, it's, it's not for the money, it's not for the fame. We want to we wanna get big and share our love of music and just share music with people because that's what we believe is one of the most important things in life. And Nick? Short-term goals? A any goal that you I mean, you obviously, a, like a long-term goal would be to get signed to a record company, you know, but uh, short-term, like Mitch said, just get our name out there, start getting more gigs, you know, playing more places and just sharing music, our music with people. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're still young, like uh, we're 16, um, we're still in high school. Mm -hmm. So I mean, short term, we're, like, we're using music really just to like get our name out there, you know, and I love the people that we meet too. And uh, it's really cool along the way. And I mean, long term, I mean, I think all three of us can agree we'd really love to have music be something we can spend the rest of our lives doing, like no matter what it takes to do that. Exactly. Yeah, well, it's a, yeah, um, anything else to share? No, I was just okay. agreeing with Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, you guys got a great start, obviously, and um, it was great seeing you guys perform. And maybe one thing, uh, what do you guys, the biggest statement you might want to make, not, not political, but what do you want people to think of when they think of Red Light District, when they think of Mitch and Nick and Jimmy, what's the one thing that you want um, people to come to their minds as they think of your group? Um, mm -hmm. Love, I guess. Yeah. Love of music. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. Just, love of people. Yeah, just like acceptance of others, you know, mm -hmm. like that's what music is. It's, it's really just like openness to like interpretation and change, and I think that's something we can all get out of it. Okay. All right, so we're, we're coming up to your second song, and we got about 30 seconds left now. And, and the first song we thought was really good. I think I like this song personally better. And, and what is exactly the name of this? Yeah. Uh, this is Ain't No Sunshine. And, yeah. uh, it's an old Bill Withers song, but uh, yeah. this is really our interpretation of it. So it it's about it. the only rock song I have in my iPod, but I, I really enjoyed it. I think you're going to enjoy it, too. Again, we're going to hear their second song. We'll come back to wrap it up, then we'll finish out on their third. Again, this is Meet Red Light District, and we'll be right back. Wonder where she 
to meet red light district guys this is our final segment so the people who are watching at home they really want to know how to get a hold of you guys where you're going to be so you guys have like, like a facebook website twitter anything social media that we can you know, really find out more about you guys well uh you can look us up on uh, facebook.com backslash red light district but uh you got to be sure to spell light l-i-t-e that's how we spell it in our name so uh yeah we're currently like we just got that up and running you know we got a couple pictures up there and uh, it really help us out, you know, if you see us here, you like what you hear, you want to be more involved with us as we move forward as a band, you know. Um, if you give us a like on there, uh, we really try hard to, like, keep it updated with current information, too. Nick, I know, I know we mentioned this earlier in the segment. When is the next time that anybody who wants to come and see you, when and where could they see you? Well, uh, we're planning on doing Tin Fish next week, which is, I think, in Rochester, right? Partridge Creek. Or, yeah, Partridge Creek. But, uh... Then September 14th in uh, Kego Harbor, we're doing a uh, skate night, which is pretty big. So if you want to see us, you can go there too. Yeah. And then um, really our website's under construction right now. So if you want to go check that out when it's up, it's redlightdistrictband.com. Um, check it out. Yeah, and also um, email, you know, uh, Jimmy, Nick, and Mitch. Those are our names. Uh, you got Jimmy at redlightdistrictband.com. You know, Nick at RedLightDistrictBand.com. Mitch, Mitch at RedLightDistrictBand.com. Yeah. yeah. So before we, we were taping this, we are kind of joking around. I, I saw the biceps kind of oh, be, yeah. being shown out. And, and then um, Mitch over there put a shirt on, actually. Uh, uh, yeah. It was pretty nice flannel, by the way. What, what really, uh, what was all that about, just, just to kind of ask? Because uh, it seemed like it was an inside joke, sort of. <laughs> when we were laughing off the set, we thought it was hilarious. But uh, yeah. <laughs> go on about that. I mean, we all work really hard to get ripped but <laughs> it's never really working out but uh yeah we work out together so it's funny to see ourselves on tv and look how jacked we're getting <laughs> nick by the way what's your nickname I i've heard it a couple of times can't remember to be uh, honest with you it, but it's uh they call me shake because okay. uh before i get on stage i get so nervous that i honestly like shake <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, and you guys seem pretty smooth tonight and we're going into to your last song here as, as we'll play out um what really Again, last song, usually it's the most effective, maybe your favorite. I is this your favorite song, or was there a reason you chose to do it third? Yeah, I mean, I think we can say this is our favorite song. It's uh, Tighten Up by the Black Keys. Um, mm. It's got a really cool vibe in it, and it was hard for us to learn, I think. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. for sure. Yeah, I think it came out pretty good. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Guys, again, we, we thank you for having you on here. A anything else you guys would like to mention? about um you know website you, you said is getting built what exactly is that website again that's red light district uh it's um it's pretty much just a website it showcases a few photos videos um when we'll be playing information about ourselves biographies things like that and it should be done very shortly within the next couple of days so like i said check it out redlightdistrictband.com yeah l-i-t-e yeah, L I T E on everything. Can I, can I ask one more question? Can I ask why it's L I T E? And I know that's like a like a beta kind of thing. I mean, I think it just kind of yeah. separates us okay. from you know other things. Mm -hmm. like obviously, there's other things in the world. Red Light District, but L I T E is kind of our thing. It mm -hmm. kind of right. like separates us from that. All right, a, a, a YouTube page you guys have maybe to upload a video like this, or people who maybe missed this broadcast or missed um, you know, other performances could go and see that. I mean, is that maybe um, in the future? Or is that kind of what the website? In the future, I mean, like you can definitely see it on Facebook. Like you can 
upload videos to Facebook for sure. And uh, I mean, maybe in the future we'll get those on YouTube too. But we can link it all together. I mean, you get us mm -hmm. on Facebook, you're going to find all of our stuff. Mm -hmm. And so guys, we're, we're going to give you a copy of this and, and you can use it. Uh, you can just give on TV credit, but uh, you know, Mitch, Nick, and Jimmy, we thank you for for coming here today. If I can just get one final thought from each of you, how you thought the experience has been so far for all you guys together? What's your favorite part about being with this group of guys? And I'm going to start in the back uh, with Mitch. Uh, favorite part about being with this group of guys is truly these two are my best friends on the face of this planet, and I feel like we're family. And I just love playing music with them because it's the best feeling in the world. I can't really top that. I mean, that's like what I'm going to say, you know. I mean, we're all basically family. Like, we've been through so much together, and just music's brought us closer, you know. And, I mean, yeah, I agree. I mean, my favorite part about playing as Red Light District is honestly, I like, I get this feeling of like unity with these guys, and like, I really do think that we're family. I mean, we not, might not be like blood related, but I think music has really brought us super close together, and it's really awesome. We guys got a lot of people who are proud of you, especially your parents. You got some fans, and we really thank you for being on here today. We're going to send you out with their third and final song. This has been Meet Red Light District on On TV. Yeah.